Welcome back to another episode of the Coyote Car Channel. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to take a door panel off of pretty much any car out there in the world and show you how to replace a speaker. Here we go. So to start things off, you don't really need a whole lot of tools to do this. These are just some extras that I had laying around to do this job. The one main tool that I suggest buying and investing in is a cat claw. It's really good for getting around the rivets and popping them up. The other tool you might need is a star key and your basic Allen wrench. Also, you might need a flathead screwdriver or a Phillips head screwdriver, sometimes short, sometimes long. But I found that these tools will basically get you around any door panel that you need to get into. So the next thing you want to do is you want to look all around the door panel for any kind of screws or any kind of hidden cavities or anything like that that you might need to do. There's no screws on the bottom here. You want to look around all the edges first. We've got a screw up here in the top corner that we're going to have to remove. And it looks like there's two screws down in the pocket that I'll show you now. And so these are the two screws that I was talking about. Also, we'll have to pop this panel up here, and when we pull it out, be aware of the door lock as well as the door handle. So this will have to come up and then off this way in order to get it out of there. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, and so we'll start by removing these two screws, and that's just as simple as putting the screwdriver in there and then just untwisting the two screws out of the pocket like this. And you can pretty much pull these screws out and just leave them in there because you're going to be putting them back in there anyways. And you're done. So I'll get those all unscrewed out of there. Like that. And then we will move on to this panel that I was telling you about. And what you're going to do is slide your screwdriver under there and kind of pry. You want to fill around. You don't want to break anything like that kind of cracked a little bit. You just want to basically kind of pry around it, push one way or the other, see which way it's willing to go. And there we go. So I'll just have to put these little tabs back on. So if I would have known, I would have pushed a screwdriver in here and lifted up and on the other side as well. But I thought it was a different type, so live and you learn. Didn't break anything, so that's always good. And then what you want to do is you want to remove these clips. We'll remember that the red is on bottom, closest to the door, and then the blue is on top, closest to the front of the door. So go ahead and pry under this. Be careful not to break it. And then once you do that, put a little pressure. Of course, it's going to be a pain in the butt because I'm filming this. Come around to the back, and there you go. And the other clip fell out. And you will do the same thing with this one here. Just give it some pressure. Not too much. You don't want to break it. And that one. There you go. So now you've got it out of there. And as we talked about, we've got the last screw up here in the top corner of the door panel. So we're going to unscrew that and put that in the side. It's a different size screw so you want to put this one aside where you're going to remember where it went. So I'm just going to put it right here. It's the only one that I have there. And then you can remove the door handle cup and pull and move that out of the way. So now that everything is disconnected, unscrewed, and ready to go, we will pull off the door panel. So what I'm going to be using to do this is my cat claw. And I'm just going to go around, I usually start down here at the bottom, and I'll just put it in there and kind of feel for the first rivet. And then once I find it, kind of pop it out. And get it released but this one is being kind of difficult so might have to go from the side okay so I see the first rivet and 
just slide that tool on there and then remove it. I'll give you a close up of what that looks like now. All right, I'm gonna try and get my hands out of here as much as I can so you can see kind of what's going on. Let me line it up a little bit better here. Let me see. Okay, and so I've got that hooked around it kind of like this on it, facing down, and then you just pull out and it'll pop it right out of there, just like that. Okay, and so then once you've got all the clips from around it removed like this and it's totally loosened up, what you want to do is you want to lift your lift your door panel handle up as you kind of jostle it. You can put your door lock down, that might help. But it's just a matter of getting it off this lip and uh, some vehicles like this one can be kind of fun to do that. So you just keep working it. Maybe check, make sure that you have all your screws removed. As you can see, I'm having a great time wrestling it around here, trying to get it off of that. I don't know why it's so stuck right here on this lip, but oh, it looks like there's rivets behind here too. Yeah, there's a rivet right there. So if that's the case, there's no other way to get to it than what I just did right there. So go ahead and grab your cat claw. I popped one of them loose. There's the other one. And there we go. And that's how you remove the door panel. Just like that. Took a little bit of finagling and finessing, but we got it. And then from here, it's pretty simple. Basically, all you have to do is remove the screws around the speaker, measure up your speakers, and get some spade connectors onto the new ones, slip them into place, put the screws back into the speakers, and reverse the process. And there you go. If you like what you saw here today, make sure that you hit the subscribe button um, and tune in every week. I put out more content all the time. So make sure you stay tuned and uh, I do giveaways and all that good stuff, so, you know, make sure you subscribe and like if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't like it. And...